I'm going to take this call. I'm going to start with calls here. Kathy, Colorado, you're on the Will Count Majority. Hello. Hey, my son was one of the Marines that died yesterday. Your and to son... listen to that. Sorry, I'm on the radio. No, 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 no. Um, go, go my ahead. son uh, was one of the Marines that died yesterday. 20 years and six months old. Getting ready to come home from freaking Jordan to be with his wife to watch the birth of his son. And that feckless, dementia-ridden piece of crap just sent my son to die. I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning to Marines at my door telling me my son was dead. So to have her on right before me and listen to that piece of crap talk about diplomatic crap with freaking Taliban terrorists who just freaking blew up my son and know nothing to not say anything about, oh my God, I'm so sorry for the family. So my son is gone and I just want all you Democrats, you just killed my son with a dementia ridden piece of crap who doesn't even know he's in the White House. He still thinks he's a senator. So... I'm going to try and calm down. I'm sorry. No, you look, I, I, I take, I, I take this call with due trust here. I don't, I would hope nobody would uh, call up and, and say if this wasn't true. I, I, just I can't just imagine what house. A Marine just left my house two minutes ago, getting my divorce decree. A Marine, two Marines showed up my house at four o'clock in the morning. Tell me my son was dead. So, my name is Kathy McCollum. My son was Riley James McCollum. You can check it out. Um, his wife, I, she might not want me to say her name. Um, they just got married on February 14th, and they're expecting a baby on, on uh, September 26th. And um, I just can't, I just, I just couldn't sit by idly because I think I need to just process through anger instead of tears. And so this is how I'm going to do it. And Laura Bobert's coming to my house tomorrow. My representative will be at my house tomorrow. And um, we'll speak, and hopefully she'll be able to convey my message to the rest of the United States. That this was, she said, your son did not die in vain. But guess what? My son did die in vain. This was an unnecessary debacle that could have been handed, handled properly. They had months and months to, re to remove everyone from Afghanistan, and they chose not to. And so they sent in freaking, what, 6,000 troops? And my son, through the laws of statistics, my son was one of the ones who just got blown up in a freaking terrorist bomb yesterday. So I, ho I, I know you'll check it out, and that's fine. Um, well, so you, instead of grieving and crying, I'm just getting mad. If there's any organization that you would like me to connect you to, if you want us, you want to give us information, there are many family support organizations that we work with. We used to do a thing called Vet Ride. Uh, it's not just for wounded soldiers and Marines. It's, it's also for families that have lost people. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. I, you're everything you're feeling right now is justified. Um, I don't think you have to apologize or tell us you're going to come. You, you have every right to feel how you feel and to speak your mind. And I Thank consider you. it an honor that you would call this program and you would call me. Because I love uh, listening I, to you and I believe in you. Well, thank you. And obviously, I'm we're halfway, I'm halfway across the country from you. I can't come over and comfort you right now. There's nothing I can do from from where I'm sitting in this studio. But no, if there's I anything, a, my, boy, if, my yes, boyfriend's an Army veteran. He was uh, in the 101st. He was the first wave over in 03, uh, March of 03 in Iraq. And so thank God for him. And I think he might have been a big influence on why my son wanted to join the military. Um, my son was a genius child, uh, an IQ of 156. He could have done anything he wanted to do in the military. And he chose to be a Marine sniper. And that was his choice. 
instead of just, you know, being fast tracked, he chose, um, he chose this course. But I never thought in a million years that he would die for nothing, for nothing, because a feckless, dementia-ridden piece of crap decided he wanted a photo op on September 11th. That's what kills me. I wanted my son to represent our country, to fight for my country, but I never thought that a feckless piece of crap would send him to his death and smirk on television while he's talking about people dying with his nasty smirk. The dementia-ridden piece of crap needs to be removed from office. It never would have happened under Trump, and I am, I'm pacing, just so you know, I'm out of breath because I'm pacing, but it, it is so disgusting that these people cannot even, even acknowledge the fact that they just killed my son for nothing, for an ill-managed um, debacle of a freaking withdrawal from a country that we had total control of. That's what gets me. That's what gets me. If my son would have gone in on, on when my boyfriend did on in March of '03 to freaking defend our country against terrorists, that would have been one thing. But this is a whole nother animal. Again, I you have the right to vent, and you have the right to feel the way that you're feeling, and and I'm not gonna. <laughs> I, I will sit on the phone with you as long as you need me to. I will sit here. I, I will sit here with you as long as you need me to, or want me to. I can't afford to pay you by the hour, sir. If you if you're going to be no. my therapist, I can't afford to pay you by the hour. <laughs> oh, sorry, trying to make jokes, man. But this is, I mean, how much more horrific can it get than to know that your son died for nothing? And I talked to Lauren Bobert. She's going to be at my house tomorrow, and um. And I and I, and I'm a I'm a smart ass, and I I guess this is how I deal with things. I can't cry because I'm too mad to cry, which is so sad that I can't cry for my son right now. I'm just too mad to cry for my son right now. I'm, but when I see that baby in a month, when his baby is born, I'm sure I'll break down and cry. But right now, I cannot afford to cry. I've got to be strong. His wife is in freaking Oceanside, California, right now. And um, I need to be strong for her, and I'm going to do that. And I'm not going to cry, because if I start crying, I'm not going to stop. So I'm just going to stay pissed off, and that's the only way I'm going to be able to do this. Because there, you, if you ever are waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning with two Marines at your house, I knew, and I, I told everybody yesterday before they informed me, I knew yesterday my son was dead. I called 10 people yesterday before they even came. And everybody thought I was nuts. And then at 4 in the morning, there they were telling me he was gone. So uh, I'm just trying to work through this. I'm trying to be normal. I'm not going to be able to be normal. Um, But for every Democrat who cheated or voted for Biden, that left my son in harm's way and allowed this dementia-ridden piece of crap who was a treasonous man who just got into office because he was running out of funds for his family. You did this to my son. Every Democrat that's listening, you did this to my son to prop up a disgusting human being. So I guess I don't have anything else to say. That was Riley McCollum's mother. Riley McCollum was a Marine, a 20-year-old who's expecting his first child in just a month. Riley McCollum has a GoFundMe. We've included that link in the comment section here. I wanted to simply post that because a friend of the show, Andrew Wilkow, who has a radio show broadcast out of New York, he got that call from Riley's mother. Riley's mother, obviously, the raw emotion of someone who has just felt the devastation of the worst thing that can ever happen to anyone. I play those clips simply because it's, there's a proverb about mourning with friends and mourning with those who mourn with you, mourn with those who are sad. And I just want to be able to have all of us mourn with her, with this mother, with this family. It's so important for us to show that we love these people, that they are in our prayers, 
and that we are sad with them. It actually really does help the process. And so donate to the GoFundMe if you wish to support Riley McCollum's uh, child. Um, and uh, please say prayer for this family today.